Welcome back my dear light bulbs to another Black Clover review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army and also remember to enable notifications to never miss a video from me again. Now the like goal for this video, like every video is 10 likes, so don't forget to hit the like button. Let's get right into the review. This episode of Black Clover, it was not epic or anything like that. I'm not gonna, like if I only watch the anime, well I do only watch the anime right now, I'm not cut up with the manga. But my biggest gripe with this episode is Mars got defeated way too fast. I don't know how fast it was in the um, manga may have been as fast. But that's um, my biggest gripe with the episode because it just shows like, yes, Asta's an underdog, right? And yes, he struggled a little bit in this fight. But the way he just, boom, that's it, Mars is defeated. I was like, okay, this is too much. This is way too fast. I did not like that. I like I like an underdog to struggle more than that. Just, oh, he got, after they get knocked out. Uh, well, he, yeah, he got knocked out for a few seconds, but he got back up. And that was it. I, like, I don't like that. I don't like when an underdog, oh, I, I struggled a little bit, and then boom, that's it. I'm, I'm going to, like, three shot three hits or whatever it was to the enemy and he gets defeated like that was my one of my biggest complaints with the episode other than that i'm not really going to talk about the pacing or anything i'm done with that like i'm just gonna focus on the main material we're getting no recaps or anything like that um the second thing i wanted to talk about is mars backstory and how it shows the influence that naruto definitely had has on this series as well as many other shonens because in Naruto, Sabusa with um, that exam to become the one of the seven ninja swordsmen and he killed 100 academy students. Well, in this scenario in Black Clover, um, the Diamond Kingdom has this tournament type thing or whatever it is, exam, where those with the highest magic potential, they have to kill others to get like this gemstone on um, embedded on their head and stuff to power, the, power up their magical powers. And that's really messed up. They had to kill others. And this, um, Mars was a kid and he did this. And he probably had to kill a girl that was either his sister or his friend or whatever it was from the flashback he um, had while he was fighting Asta. And that's really messed up. So, very sad backstory. Nothing too unique. It's not like, uh, I don't know with backstories, I don't know if you can make them super unique because um, this is a backstory like Sabusa kind of had and stuff like that, like other anime characters have, so it's not like the best backstory ever made. And yeah, that was it. Now for the discussion part of this video, I just want to talk about what I expect to see from the series. In the treasure chamber, I expect to see hopefully a very powerful magical item, not just gold or diamonds or whatever and that's about it and i don't know what's gonna happen with mars is it gonna be good is he gonna run away or what is he gonna change his mind about what he's been doing because before that girl told him hey we were supposed to protect everyone we were chosen but in reality they were just chosen to become the most powerful um in the diamond kingdom and stuff and that was really messed up that she did not know what her what her fate was later on and that mars probably did have to kill her and that's really messed up so overall i'm gonna give this episode a 7 out of 10 it was an okay episode i almost gave it a 6.5 but yeah it was an okay fight and that's it for me today hope you enjoyed my review and if you did remember to have a great day peace